All right, sorry about that delay. Um, just wanted to double check that my memory of it was right, but status cards do carry over to the next one. So if, if um, Iron Fist stuns Crossbones, which is about to do, um, then that will carry over after we defeat. So that's one, two. And then Fighting Fit goes and defeats Crossbones. We go grab Machine Gun. Correct. Okay, so we got a Machine Gun and we give it the two counters. Need my boost thing. Okay, stunned. I think we're good. We untap. And what do we have? Energy channel with three energy and or fighting fit. And we still have Iron Fist. Okay, not bad. So first villain phase goes to resolve. Crossbones does not attack, so it just gets a stunned. We get our encounter card, or removes a stunned. We get our encounter card, and poop. Okay, so there's a small chance this won't advance, but probably will. And it advances. Damn it. All right, so, uh, boop, boop. We've got Mount Athena goes. We get our next one, Infinity Stone is at one. Infinity Stone comes with another card from Experimental Weapons deck. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Throw that back in, shuffle Experimental Weapons deck. And it's the one scheme, one attack one, which isn't so bad. I don't feel like I need to deal with that. Done. Hero turn two. <laughs> okay, I forgot to actually flip, but don't worry. I sort of know what I'm doing. Um, she had attacked. I. It was implied that I had flipped her. So fighting fit. Interesting. So I have a few options here. Um, so I could do Fighting Fit for five. That would leave me with two cards. And I could do Energy Channel and one. So that'll be another two damage later. Um, I could do Endurance to get my health up by two. And then Energy Channel for two. So that's four. So energy channel is worth, gives me one less, but of course uh, I can pump more stuff into it later. So it's actually worthwhile, right? So I think the real question is, do I use energy channel Do I use energy channel and fighting fit together? So that's seven damage, eight, nine, 10, 11, easily win next turn, I think, as long as nothing super stupid happens. I don't have the health buffer, but I'm really close to winning, right? So that's, that's one way to do it. The other way is energy channel for, one, two, so I have four, so that's ten, six. Okay. 
So I only have to come up with six damage next turn. Four. I mean, she has so much damage. It seems hard to imagine I wouldn't be able to do that. But what if I get a bunch of crap? No, I think I really want to push to make sure I can actually do this, right? So I do um, okay, energy channel, put one on energy channel, and then fighting fit for five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, oh, right, but I still have to deal with that stupid machine gun this coming turn. Oh, no, because it's not going to trigger because it's stunned. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh, did I delete my stunned? Oops. Okay. We'll do it. All right, so two photon. <laughs> Looks like it didn't matter at all. I will have the ability to finish off the threat. Okay, assuming nothing really wonky happens, we're good. So stunned goes, get a look out, give villain a tough status. And that is it. So three. Do we just ping the tough status with my energy? That's what we do, right? So energy channel, yeah, because photonic blast is going to finish it off, right? So we ping with the energy channel. We ping off the tough status card. We Tap Captain Marvel to get rid of those two. I don't think there's anything else smart to do. Right, we just finish it off with a Photonic Blast and we are done. Okay. So that is three turns. Unfortunately, stage two on the scheme. Zero health for the big guy and 12 health. 13 actually for Captain Marble. Yay.